Welcome beautiful soul family. In today's light language transmission I will be delivering a transmission for gaslighting, enmeshment and memory recall. I felt really guided and called to do both of these topics together even though they're two completely different subjects but in terms of the memory recall it's so that we can bring back a remembrance of who and what we are on a soul level, on a spiritual level, on a higher dimensional level, on an energetic level, a remembrance of who and what we are without all the gaslighting and the brainwashing and the traumatic experiences and being enmeshed to other people, whether that was your family or relationships, partnerships, or even working environments and friendships that you may have come across in your lifetime where you felt really enmeshed like you were almost stuck to the person you didn't know where you end and where they begin i've been guided to focus primarily on the healing so i'm not going to take up too much time with giving the intellectual and psychological uh, explanations and descriptions of gaslighting and enmeshment i have linked down below two articles that give a pretty straightforward explanation of both of these terms if you want to understand it on a deeper level, on a psychological level. However, because I am very well versed in bringing through the energetic healing for these types of subjects, I'd rather focus on that and allow you guys to do your own research and your own in-depth analysis of these subjects. Most of you already know and are aware of these terms. They've been floating around a lot over the past decade. So just familiarize yourself with it again if you need to. For those of you who already know where it's at, what it is, how it is, uh, then just yeah, jump straight to the transmission if you feel guided to do so. So before we jump into the transmissions, I'm going to give a brief explanation of what gaslighting and enmeshment are. And then we're going to get into the intention of the memory recall and bring through the light codes. So first of all, gaslighting is a form of psychological abuse in which a victim is manipulated into doubting their own memory, perception or sanity. So often this happens in any relationship really, where you're being guided away from your inner knowing, you're being guided away from the truth that you know to be the truth and somebody else is projecting or infiltrating their truth into your reality or their version of the truth into your reality so it may not even be a truth but it's something that they're doing in order to make you forget or distrust yourself in some way and often the effects of gaslighting can lead into your adulthood where it's difficult for you to make decisions on your own this is also one of the reasons why so many people find it difficult to trust their own intuition and their gut feelings and they often chalk it off to being just coincidences. It's because you've been gaslit by others or you might have even gaslit yourself. When it gets to a point where you start to doubt your own abilities, you start to doubt your own intuition, you start to doubt your own experience of reality and you talk yourself out of things and you tell yourself, oh no, I'm just overthinking or that can't be true because this, this and this and you start to glorify somebody else's perception of reality over your own perception of reality. So it's really important to always stay connected to your inner self, connected to the source from within because that's what guides you throughout this process and throughout this experience of life on this planet, throughout this experience of your beingness on this planet. That connection to source is what reminds you of who you truly are on an energetic level outside of this human experience and when you understand what the word human really means you'll stop addressing yourself as a human you'll just address yourself as a divine being because you'll come back to the understanding that it's all an illusion and at the core of it all you are divinity in its finest form so according to research in an enmeshed relationship there is no emotional independence or separation between the parent and or spouse and or friend and or any other person and child and yourself. This can lead to a child's inability to form individual thoughts and behaviors that are separate from the parent. So as always it stems in childhood, it stems with your relationships with your parents that then go on to form your outer relationships with the outer world. So enmeshment I believe and you know you can go with what you believe but for me I personally believe from personal experience that enmeshment isn't something that just happens with your parental figures. It can happen with your siblings, it can happen with your relatives, it can happen with 
anyone where you start to revolve your entire world around them you lose sense of yourself you come out of your own frame in order to meet the needs of others you feel overly responsible for the health and well-being and the happiness of somebody else and you sort of leave yourself behind you leave yourself on the back burner you're out there people pleasing and saving the world but you're not doing what it takes to save yourself so the reason we obviously go through all of these experiences is to understand that it's all about us and we have to really come back to us and realize the wholeness and the union and the oneness within ourselves because when we do that when we truly align with what we are as a consciousness then it automatically transpires into a state of oneness and unity consciousness with all things whether they're on this planet of this planet not of this planet it doesn't matter you become one with all that exists all of existence and all of the consciousness that exists so these lessons and these experiences are a vital part in your soul's evolution, in understanding yourself as spirit in physical form and understanding that you are divine, you are a divine being and everything in existence is divine, whether it's darkness, whether it's light, it's all designed to help you to come into a state of divine alignment. It's all by divine design. So again, if you'd like to go deeper into these subjects, definitely check out the links below. There's lots of information out there about it on the internet. Go with what resonates for you. Go with what uh, sits well with you and leave the rest. So I'm going to be delivering this light language in three parts. The first will be addressing the transmutation of gaslighting and gaslighting energies. The second will be to transmute the enmeshment energies and the third will be a memory recall, a full memory recall to help you to reintegrate and realign with the truth of who you are, the remembrance, Simba, <laughs> you know who you are, <laughs> the remembrance of who you are, and calling back your memory, calling back the understanding of who and what you are at a soul level, at a core level, before you even stepped foot on this plane, before you even came out the womb, because you knew you were coming here, but you've forgotten that. You know, a lot of people say there was a veil of illusion. Earth itself is a place where Maya is present in almost every aspect. And that's what we're here to break free from. So the reason that you forget is so that you can re-remember. And awakening is often just a journey. It's a path back to the self. So the whole time you're traveling down this path, looking for something, looking for something, seeking something, only to understand everything is already within you the wisdom is within you you are supposed to tap into that the whole time and that you are perfectly divinely designed the way you're supposed to be and all you have to do is come back to that all you have to do is come back to yourself and embody yourself as you are fully in your wholeness in union in alignment with your divine truth your divine destiny and live by divine design so it's all basically just a path, a 360, right back to the self. And on that entire path and quote-unquote journey that you go on, as a seeker, as an adventurer, that's where you get all the tools and the resources and everything that you need so that when you do the complete 360 and come back to yourself, you have everything you need to stay in alignment with yourself, to stay in alignment with source, with creator with consciousness, to stay conscious, to stay awake when there is a lot of stuff on this planet that would rather you be sleepwalking. There are a lot of people, places and things, there are a lot of energies that would rather you stay sleepwalking because when you're sleepwalking, they can capitalize off of your ignorance basically and off of your unconsciousness. They can feed off of your suffering. So it's time that we clear out this suffering and we no longer fall victim or prey to these types of things. Obviously, people are still going to try to gaslight you. Sometimes you might even unconsciously try to gaslight yourself. Uh, people who are still operating out of the old timelines, the old ways of being, they're still going to want to attach to your field and they're still going to want to drag you into these energies. But once you're aware, you become the observer. You see it for what it is and you smile and you allow them to have their experience and you just continue on your own experience it doesn't become like a war anymore it's just like okay it is what it is 
I've dealt with this, I've been through this, I've healed this in myself and now it's time for me to just continue on my journey and let go and release and allow others to be exactly where they are because maybe they're in their own version of finding their way back in that 360 somewhere. Maybe they're at the 180 right now, you know, maybe they're at the 90 right now. So you have to allow everybody to have their own individual experience and find their way back to the truth as you have found your way back to the truth. So for this particular transmission, I invite you to rub your palms together and generate energy between your hands. And as they're warming up, I'd like you to set the intention that all of the elements that are present within you and present on this planet, all of the healing points within your fingertips, all of the mudras are activated within your hands. And bring your attention to this space. Hold this energy in your hands. You might feel it vibrating, tingling, tickling. You might feel sensations in your hands as you do this. Hold this energy and set the intention that you're going to use your own hands throughout this transmission and direct them to wherever you feel guided to in your body that needs it at this time to release these old crystallized energies that do not serve you to your highest good and that have served a purpose up until now on your journey back to self. But now it is safe for you to release them and let them go. And I'm hearing a plane right now. Beautiful timing. As always, I say planes are about releasing the old and going towards the new, flying, setting yourself free. And I'm also sun gazing as we speak. So this entire transmission is blessed with solar codes as we invite the sun setting on the old and giving us a clean slate to design life as we wish to in the new. Now place your palms onto your heart space and set your own intention for this practice. I set the intention that in this light language transmission I will be assisting in recollecting the memory of who you truly are and were as a child, calling back balance and harmonization of your memory from traumatic experiences and gaslighting, Reigniting the memory of who you are as a soul without the enmeshment. Memory of who and what you are as an independent sovereign being. A whole and complete soul on your own as spirit in physical form. Remembering the truth of who and what you are beyond this physical plane of existence and coming into alignment with your divinity, your divine destiny and creating your life by divine design. Let's begin. Light language transmission for gaslighting. I now release the effects of all forms of gaslighting within myself and that which was projected onto me from without. I trust myself. I have faith in myself. And I trust that everything is always working out for me. And that my universe always bends in my favor. It is all divinely designed to lead me back to exactly who and what I am. A divine being. Full of divine power and the ability to heal myself, trust myself, guide myself, and make my own decisions. Rata 
ta tarata sniata ta tu unierta harakata sniata ta tarata thank you to all the beings rata nuria ta tarata sa ta tarata ta tarata sniata ta ta who allowed me to have this experience rata sniata ta tarata sniata ta tu 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 ta tarata sra ta tarata mushu for they rata sniga rata for they were integral tracks in here that that to show to 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 show me that 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 to show me that 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 in me realigning with my true essence rakatan akara to show to 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 na rakata sarat harakata gratitude aratness appreciation trakata trapsnu for these experiences arakata to 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 harakata hasana rata to 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 forgiveness trata show me that that harakata for self and all harakata in here kata light language transmission for enmeshment is nyarata tarya to unya asere tere tatoria hanakata asere hana haustura tarat asi trakata i am whole and complete on my own harakate sinirata ta hare to to shunyarata asere tatira tata uryata harata to to I do not belong to anyone and anyone does not belong to me. Arata te sarato unya heta ka I am free trasini trako kokoko arakata and I set all others free. Hanaka ta shi tirata senyarata ta uru tuturu 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 I do not need anybody. Arasinyarata ta trasinyarata ta suri tuturu tu shu tuturu tarata sa to provide my needs arakata shinyata because i am always being provided for harata sinirita te siarata ta oriata ta trasinyata ta traso i am not separate from anyone trasata ta shu duriata ta i am one with all things sarata ta seriata ta rato shu therefore trasinirata ta kotu it is safe for me to embody my sovereignty trasinirata ta shu te kitara as a whole and complete being on my own no kotu surita te rata te sinirata ta trasinirata ta in union harata sarata ta with the oneness of all things arata te sinirata ta harata to o to dushinirata harakata se te trata sinirata to trusuru to turu to shuturu to to kuturu so te narata te sinirata ta arakate ra to yo to no arata ta hesiria ta ta akashi te nirata suri ta ta hanarata sinyara ka ta uri ta te eshika ta arakata asanara atakate ha ushnuri ta te sarata trusutu to shuturi ta ta trata satara we are all one trasita dash the three individual expressions rakata satara the narakata of source creation trasanya rakata god created source consciousness rakata trasnira tata sunurata in physical form harata to nirata sarata tasta rikiti nirata rakata sira i accept my truth tatra sne i accept myself trakasanya rakata and i remember who i am arata shinya rakata Light language transition for memory recall, recalling back all the lost memories, the suppressed memories, repressed and oppressed memories, reigniting the remembrance of self, reigniting the remembrance of events as they truly occurred, and calling back our memory from all directions of time, space, people, places, habits, behaviors, attachments, enmeshments, gaslighting, addictions, and things that have served their purpose.
Ilianaratuto coroto nierat tesele que tanera a coda con manenoi, arata semira que taina ru manenoi, tracasara ta al memba, arata semira que taina ru trata ta al trust, arata arata se ala faith, tracata in myself, tracata in the divine, arata mira to toshi, arata in the siria que tara que tolo y que tana arata si, arata arata si, I let go of the old earth, the old timelines, and the old that has kept me tethered to the old matrix. I let go of the old that has kept me tethered to the old matrix. And I reignite my soul awareness. I let go of the old so that I may now take a step forward into the new earth. I let go of the old and create a life by divine design. I let go of the old that has kept me tethered to the old matrix. I let go of the old that has kept me tethered to the old matrix. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is done, it is done, it is done. And so it is.